Hello, my name is David Giles of Hitex Development Tools, and this is a short presentation on the regression testing capabilities of the Tessie Unit Testing Tool from RazorCat. This is part one of two. I'm assuming that you've already watched the introductory clip to uh, Tessie, uh, which shows some of the major attributes of the tool. So I'll move straight on to showing uh, Tessie um, as a regression testing tool. We start off by uh, creating a module. So here I click on add a module and uh, we'll call it regression test. And now I specify the C source file through the properties dialog. So I'll go into the C sources file and I'll put in the C source code that I'm looking to test, uh, which is called a structure example. Um, I'll also uh, put in the include path. Okay, uh, we could also going to be using the code composer studio from TI as a vehicle for running the test so we're using a, a TMS 570 compiler. Um, I click on the plus icon Tessie has opened the module and it has correctly identified that there's one function contained with it which is called check valid date. If I do right click and edit the source file at the top here we have the uh, function prototype um, and as you can see there's one input parameter which is called my local calendar um, and this is of a structure type um, which I've called um, calendar. We have uh, the function name itself which is check valid date um, and we have a return parameter which is actually an enum. So uh, calendar type and uh, this uh, evalid uh, date type is contained within um, structure example.h. Um, so inside this header file you can see that we have an enum which is of the type e day of the week type uh, which has Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday um, and an end of enum list. We also have uh, the list of the months so we have an enumeration table for the months. So so far we have the day of the week, we have the month. Um, the return parameter is of the type e valid date type and this only has two values where the date is valid which has a value of 1 and we have date is invalid which has a value of 0 and as you can see I've built up a structure uh, which is comprised of uh, an enum type which is uh, the day of the week so this structure will basically contain a, a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday or Sunday followed by another uh, element within the structure or day and month um, and this takes on the value of uh, 1 through to 31 we also have uh, another enum which forms part of the structure and uh, this type of the month um, and then the final item within that structure um, is the year. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll run some, some tests on the C code uh, which I've written. As you can see from the C source code here we have the one input parameter which of a, is of a calendar type uh, which is a, uh, a structure and um, uh, that is passed into the function and then uh, the software which you see here checks the code uh, to see whether we have a valid date or not so it will check for example um, that the day of the week is uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday or Sunday we we'll check that the uh, month is January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December it will also check that the date in the month um, is in the range of 1 to 31 for months which have 31 days uh, of the week for 30 days for all the other months except uh, February which it checks for uh, 28 days except in a leap year when obviously uh, it's uh, 29 days so when we uh, come back uh, into Tessie having had a quick look at the source code we can see that Tessie has correctly identified that there's one function contained within that C source module which is called check valid date and when we click on the interface icon we can see what Tessie actually makes of this um, this function so Tessie has correctly identified that there's one input parameter uh, to uh, that function and it's of a structure um, of calendar type and if I click on the plus icon here it will show what those constituent member elements are so it consists of an enum uh, which is the day of the week and there's another enum which is the month and then we have uh, an unsigned char which is the day in the month which obviously is the 1 to 31 um, and we also have an unsigned short for the year as well and Tessie has also correctly identified that there's one return parameter uh, which is an enum um, of the uh, uh, valid date 
and if we actually want to look at what those enums are Tessie has also correctly um, listed them for us here so if I click on date type uh, for example we will only have two items in there which is date is valid and date is invalid similarly if I click on um, day of the week uh, we can see that uh, these are the numbers which uh, Tessie has allocated for Monday uh, through to Sunday so that's what uh, Tessie has identified automatically uh, from the C source code which it's um, which is examined so if I close this down now and create a, a test case for myself and click on uh, insert and as you'll notice that we have a white box to indicate there's no test data in there at the moment double click on that icon and the test data editor will now open and this will allow me to input uh, test data into um, this particular function so I open up the structure day of, uh, of week type okay so from this pop down list Tessie allows me to select the enum uh, which I want so I'll go for Monday and then we'll have a day in the month so we'll, we'll pick a sensible date to start with which is the first and then we'll pick um, a, a sensible month also which is January and we'll pick um, a value for the year which is 2000 so I would assume then that the software uh, will uh, will check that and assume that the date uh, is valid uh, the month and uh, and the year so I'll close that one down and I've now created my first test case so that um, test is ready to execute so what I'll do is I'll quickly run a test before I kind of put too much uh, data in here just to make sure everything's okay and click on execute okay so the test execution is now completed and Tessie has generated an XML file with the results in and as you can see the icon has changed from yellow to green to indicate that we have a past test case we can create uh, a few more test cases for ourselves so I'll generate another one here I'll do right click add test case so this time I will have the day of the week uh, as a Friday and this time I'll choose an invalid um, value for the day in the month in this case it's a zero and uh, I'll also now choose a year so 2010 um, I'll only generate three test cases because the purpose of the demo today just to show you the regression capabilities of Tessie so I'll highlight all three of these test cases I'll click on the razor cat symbol click on execute um, and as you can see we now have uh, three past uh, test cases and what I'd like to show you now is what happens if we change that C source code if you remember we had one C source file and we had one header file so if I come back to the header I now change some of the enums so we had Monday uh, through to Sunday if I want to change the language um, to German for example each of these uh, enum uh, entries actually changes then I can very simply do this by changing the code so um, here I have a couple uh, comments to commentate that particular e number so what I've done is I've uncommented the German enum and uh, I've commented out uh, the English enum thereby replace the day of the week uh, with German uh, text so I come up to here and I do file save and then when I come back into Tessie now I'll need to re-examine the module so and Tessie will now re-examine uh, the C source code. The C source code itself has not changed but the header file has so Tessie will identify that uh, some uh, items have changed and this is one of the key requirements of an automated test tool is that it's able to cope with changes in the source code. And now Tessie's popped up a dialog box which it says the module interface has changed do you want to reuse the old database or create a new one um, so what we want to do is reuse those three test cases which we've already generated so I'll click on reuse and a new dialog box will now be uh, opened and uh, as you can see here uh, we have a panel on the left hand side which is uh, related to the, um, the new test objects and as you can see we have a tick against it which means that there are no differences uh, between the new test object uh, and the old test object. Um, we have three tabs test object, enums and interface. So if I click on the enums um, you can see that we have two uh, which remain unchained which is of the uh, date type and uh, you can see that uh, we have a cross against this one uh, which is for the day of the week which would indicate that there's something subtly different between the new 
uh, and the old so when I, I click on the plus icon all of these are highlighted for me and when I click on uh, the one on the right hand side the old ones you can see that we have now uh, because we've actually changed these enums uh, Tessie intuitively does not know which of these enums correlates um, to the old enums so we have to uh, tell Tessie uh, which ones um, correlate as you can see for um, the, the ones which are unchanged date is valid and date is invalid on the right hand side we see that they're actually greyed out um, so that means that Tessie has correctly identified that there's there's no real changes here um, and the only ones which are, are highlighted are the ones uh, which Tessie can, cannot automatically distinguish between. So what I can do is I can grab and hold Montag and drag it down onto Monday and now Tessie has made the link between Montag and Monday. This means that for every reference of Monday uh, in the testing strategy it will replace this uh, with Montag. So I drag all of these over Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Um, the other tab which we have is the interface. So I click on the interface tab and as you can see there's no differences between the old and the new. Um, so I'm happy to click on the Razor Cat symbol which is here, commit assignments and basically um, Tessie will now uh, translate all the test cases which we have using the new uh, enum values. I click on the plus icon, Tessie again goes through the process of identifying uh, the functions that are uh, contained within there and uh, this time when I come up into the interface uh, box we should see the new enums actually listed so for day of the week if I click on the plus we should see that we have the uh, Monday through to uh, Sunday in German okay so I close that down and then when we look at the test cases number one historically we had uh, a name of Monday in our first test case so when I click on this uh, plus structure symbol you can see that Monday has now been replaced automatically by Tessie by Montag so Tessie has been able to uh, correctly identify uh, the change it has allowed us to uh, manually uh, adapt the uh, the interface uh, and Tessie has allowed us to reconfigure the, uh, the interface uh, with the new enum values and that's propagated through into the test case. So again when I look at test case number two we can see now that uh, Friday has been replaced uh, by uh, Frytag. So we can change the order of the enums, uh, we can change the name of the enums and we can see that Tessie is uh, able to, to deal with that uh, quite comfortably. So I click on the, uh, the close tab and then I highlight all three tests and then click on the razor cat symbol um, generate the driver and run the tests and now we'll have a look um, to see uh, what happens what I'm doing is I'm rerunning tests which I've already established um, over uh, changes in the source code and this is an absolute must for any automated test tool that you're looking to purchase and as you can see uh, the three test cases have all turned green to indicate that they that the test results have not changed since I've changed the enum. So that's the first uh, example which I wanted to show you. Now that uh, previous example of uh, regression testing was a relatively simple one to do um, because we'd only changed uh, one enum. So what we'll do is we'll kind of do a slightly more involved uh, example of regression testing. Um, I've got another C source file which is um, very very similar to the one which you've just seen. What uh, I've done is I've added hours, minutes and seconds um, to the structure. So you can see in the header file uh, we have uh, another structure which has been uh, um, effectively added. This is the type defined for the structure which comprises of three elements uh, which is hours, minutes and seconds. And then I've added this structure. Previously we had uh, the day of the week, uh, we had the day in the month, uh, we had the year and also uh, so the month and also the year and what I've done this time is I've added in uh, another component to that structure uh, which is called uh, my time and my time is based on this uh, structure which I've just showed you um, here the C source code uh, is pretty much identical um, so again we have one input parameter of the type um, calendar type and we have one return value um, but obviously my local calendar now is a changed um, structure. The only difference between this new code and the old code is this small section 
uh, which I've put in here which basically checks to see if the seconds is greater than 59 and the minutes is greater than 59 and the hours is greater than 23 